in the wake of the Capitol siege, the Department of Homeland Security is issuing a rare and alarming warning, saying extremist groups pose a threat of more violence. NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams on the story. And Pete, obviously the riots were three weeks ago. What's the concern that's prompting this new warning of additional violence coming? I think more, this is DHS getting on the record saying publicly what the FBI has been telling police for weeks, that violent domestic extremists remain a heightened threat. The new bulletin says ideologically motivated violent extremists may actually be emboldened by the siege at the Capitol to target elected officials and government facilities. And it says racial and ethnic tensions and conspiracy theories about COVID add to the potential for violence. So DHS is encouraging local authorities to maintain heightened security around their state and local facilities. And, and meanwhile, there are new details coming out about a man arrested by the FBI for allegedly plotting attacks against Democrats. What more do you know about this case? Yeah, this is a case from California where the FBI says that a Napa Valley man was texting about attacking Facebook or Twitter for blocking President Trump. The FBI says 43-year-old Ian Benjamin Rogers was also texting that he wanted to, quote, blow up a Democrat building bad. Investigators say they found five pipe bombs in a safe at a business that he operates along with materials to make more. The FBI says he admitted building them, but that he told the agents they were for entertainment purposes only. The FBI says Rogers had a sticker on his car with a symbol of an anti-government group called Three Percenters. But his lawyer says he does not belong to any organizations advocating violence, Savannah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.